Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we got a few stash ads. Our Ollie's had their truck come in and they brought some model kits with them. So if you guys have Ollie's in your area, go check it out because ours uh, was just stocked to look like today, if not maybe last night. Quite a few there. And they're always cool. There's always a different round of them. You never know what they're going to have. Uh, so I, our wife was there. She, you know, video chatted me and she's like, man, they got some kits. You want to pick some up? I'm like, why? Well, I for that price why not you know so i show you a few of them she picked up uh first off she brought the am amt uh 70 ford galaxy the diamonds are forever the james bond cop car in the movie uh, i do have the james bond 71 mock uh, i do have that kit here uh, i also have the 71 mock from revel the new release i just got that from hobby Up models um mark's got a few of those down there so you guys looking at one of those I highly recommend getting the Ravel one over the AMT. Uh, it's such a nice kit. That's the new tooling kit. Uh, so check that out. This car here, this is the same as the California Taxi they come out with a while back. Um, with a few accessory changes, obviously, for the cop car version. Uh, I tell you, the thing that makes this kit worth the money, the worth the weight in gold, because this car probably didn't come from this from the factory, is the Boss 429 that comes in the kit. Even if I built the kit as a... Um, we like a curbside without the engine. The, the engine alone is worth the money just for that. That's yeah. Other than that, I have not yet built a cop car. I'm still in need of doing that. And I've been wanting to build one. Another one we got. This one here, I didn't realize this is this car. I, did, I didn't realize this. I thought this was like the high country charger. Uh, this is a 69 Dodge Charger from Polar Lights, the funny car. This is a Hot Wheels car. And I thought, oh yeah, that looks like it's pretty neat looking. I didn't really, I'd like say, I thought it was like the high country one. I thought, yeah, that's, you know, that's like, you know. and I seen this one, I thought, that is very sweet. So check out the decals on that. And that look cool. This would be a nice builder just to build it box stock. I really like the graphics on this. Very cool looking. Um, round two did a good job on this one. Uh, that'd be a really nice build. So yeah, so that was another one. And last one she picked up from Ollie's. Uh, she showed me this and I thought, you know, that'd be cool. I like collecting the Coca-Cola stuff uh, just for the accessories. I think I've mentioned that before. And it don't really matter what kit you get. They, always, they all have different accessories. Some are the same as others, but, you know, you can't ever have enough of them. Uh, this one here is the 29 Ford Woody Pickup. Very cool looking, very cool. So I didn't know... That this kit comes with an awesome bike with a banana seat. Yes, sir. I didn't know that was in there. I thought, oh, yeah. That is very sweet. And then I flipped the box over and I, I'm thinking, this is even cooler yet. You get like a roadster pickup. So that looks really cool. That looks like a really neat builder. I may go down and see if they have another one of these kits in stock. Because I'd like to build a stock version of this. But I really like to build that. And I love it in that red, that kind of that dark burnt red. Very cool looking. So those are the Ollie kits today. Um, they had a bunch of other ones there that I thought would be kind of cool to snag, but you know, I got to watch because we got our Detroit show coming up here on the 24th of March. So that has come up within the month here uh, coming up uh, for this year. So you guys are in the area, you guys need to come down and check that out. So there are always a lot of cool vendors there and bring some models and put on the table. So very good stuff. Very good stuff. So speaking of the Detroit show, uh, last year, I, a guy that watched the channel, um, been following along, uh, his name's Chris and I met him at the Detroit show. So a while back, Chris and I got talking online and he has a, a newer Ford pickup and he's had a few shifting issues or whatnot. And, uh, he wanted to know if he could bring it up to the dealership I work at and we could do some warranty work on it. Yeah, absolutely. Bring it up. Uh, he brought it up and we got talking and and just before he left he says hey i left you a present on the seat i thought okay cool and you know figure hey we're into the model thing and whatnot so i went out and checked it out when i went to go grab his pickup and i thought that is very very cool so chris i can't tell you how much i appreciate this uh chris left the ming uh, hummer h1 kit for me i thought that is very very cool very nice kit i went through it this thing is super super detailed um, I've not yet built a men kit. I, I see the online, there's different kits out there, and man, they are really detailed. Very nice looking. 
So this uh, 124th scale, I believe it is. Yes, 124th. And just, like I say, just super, super detailed. A lot of parts in this bad boy. So once again, Chris, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. That was awesome. I was not expecting that. And on top of that, uh, he also sent the uh, H1 upgrade kit. So this is the upgrade kit. I don't know if you can see it through the plastic or not. Uh, this comes with the kind of the roof rails on the top, the roll bar lights up top, uh, the exhaust stack on the hood, and the roll bar across the front that goes up the hood uh, as well. And I figured that would look really cool on there, kind of give it that tough enough look, you know, on top of what it already looks like. So once again, Chris, I really appreciate that. That was unexpected. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, so other than that, working in the shop here, uh, I've been working on my IMSA Mustang Racer. That's been coming along nicely. Uh, we got everything in primer. Got some parts over in the purple pond. Getting some chrome stripped off right now. Uh, those are stripping pretty good. Some of the engine plated engine parts, you know. Um, I actually bought some of this from Hobby Nut Models. This is the Elclade lacquer. This is the stainless steel. And I'll tell you what, I use this on a little bit of practicing with it, and I've never shot it. It's all pre mixed. Uh, go check out Mark's website for this stuff because he's got like every color available for this. Amazing stuff. Love it. You shoot it with some gloss black first. Looks beautiful. I thought first when I was painting, I thought, eh, it looks okay. But once it dried, like, ooh, that looks nice. Very impressive. I'm sure that, I'm sure you guys have seen videos out there, guys using this stuff. I'm telling you, it's very, very nice stuff. Unbelievable. Spray is really good. So that's my Mustang so far. Uh, this is in primer white as of right now. Um, this is blue and we have these in silver so that's why it's taped and I do have the rear spoiler put on I put that on here uh, the original car there's no seam here so as you glue that on obviously you're gonna have a seam uh, I took some filler filled that in sanded it and I might have to give it another little shot it looks pretty good but I'd like to get it pretty smoothed out uh, before I put paint on it so we're working on might have to do another application so that's been working on that and another kit I did my uh, Knight Rider uh, Aoshima Super Pursuit Mode, the Season 4 car. I like that that kit in general. You know, not so much Super Pursuit Mode itself, but just the way that kit fit, finish. I mean, just a great kit. Um, so I bought the original Knight Rider. Just, this is also a Season 4 car, and the, but this is just a regular kit car. Uh, very cool kit, 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 you know. So this is in black primer right now. I'm getting ready to shoot this in some MCW black enamel uh, and go from there. And I'd like to get this ready to go with me to Detroit along with that Mustang. Um, so I can sit this one next to the Super Pursuit Mode car. I figured that'd look pretty cool. So yeah, so that's what I got right now, guys. That's, that's all I got for you at this moment. So other than that, I appreciate you guys tuning in to this channel, checking out things, and stopping by. So... Uh, we will see you on the next video, and you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.